take every week. And today I want to show you how to jailbreak your iDevice in iOS 5.1.1 uh, using Red Snow. My previous video was the tutorial on how to do this using Absinthe uh, 2.0, and now they released um, actually a whole bunch of tools they released uh, now uh, for 5.1.1. But I'm going to be showing you uh, Red Snow right here, 0 0.9.12 beta 1. Uh, the download links are on this page towards the uh, the bottom here. So I'll go ahead and link you all um, to this page right here. I'll throw that in the description. Um, you may just go ahead and download uh, whatever uh, operating system you're running. It's only for Windows and OS 10 Lion, um, not for uh, Linux or anything else. Uh, but you can go ahead and just download that. And when that finishes up, I will be back. Um, actually, while this uh, download here is finishing up, I do want to cover... Um, a few warnings and uh, other stuff I want to tell you guys to do before we begin this jailbreak. Uh, first thing I recommend doing is going into iTunes and backing up your device uh, by right clicking over here and hitting backup. Um, I know iCloud you can back up to which would be fine also but uh, backing up on your computer makes everything um, in my opinion just a little bit easier. Uh, so I, I'd go ahead and actually I'd first of all just sync everything and transfer your purchases and everything um, and then go ahead and back up your, uh, your device and then just make sure you got uh, back up in your device. If you go to your preferences, um, and then right here in here, and right in here, you'll see uh, your backups. And just make sure you got a current one. Um, and also, if you're on a lower firmware than 5.1.1, if you're jailbreaking like an iPhone or something, and you rely on a carrier unlock, upgrading to 5.1.1 may permanently update your baseband. Uh, so you may not want to do this. If you rely on a carrier unlock, you'll have to research that a little bit. I'm not familiar. I'm not familiar with unlocking. Um, so if you do rely on a carrier unlock, just make sure upgrading to 5.1.1 will not update your baseband because you will lose that unlock. Um, and also, uh, if the reason you may want to use Red Snow over uh, like Absinthe or something, if you just want to go ahead and read through this, uh, there's, some, there's some information on it right here if you want to read through all that. I'm not going to go through all this because I don't want the video to be too long, uh, but if you want to go through any of this stuff, go ahead and just check out that link again in the description. Alright, so that one just finished, and I do want to say if you're running an A4 device, you'll want to go ahead and uh, read this because it's, uh, it's some important information for the A4 device. Um, basically, it's right in here. It gives you the uh, the main reason you may want to. So go ahead and look at that if you have an A4 device. We're going to go ahead and open up Redstone now. Um, also, if you are on Windows, you will have to run this as administrator, as it says right here. Uh, so, but, so let's go ahead and open this up. And then it's just connected, and it gives your device and everything. All right, so we're going to go ahead and just click Jailbreak here. And it's going to go ahead and uh, do all the stuff. Uh, so basically, in this version of Redstone, the only difference is it uses uh, the same thing that Absinthe uses, like this restore thing. Like on my fourth generation uh, touch here, it had like the restore, um, it said like restore complete on my iPod, so it looks like it was being restored in iTunes. Uh, and that's the same process that Absinthe uses. And basically, if you want to use this other method here that I was just talking about, you enter DFU mode uh, before starting Red Snow. And then they'll use the old Lime Rain um, exploit. Uh, that was previously with use of Red Snow, and uh, again the warning and stuff is in here if you want to look over that if you like want to know the reason to do that. Um, but actually, Red Snow compared to Absinthe was a lot faster. Um, just if you're curious at all. Um, but the jailbreak did finish up now, and I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of Red Snow, and we'll head over to the camera and check out my fourth generation touch. All right, so here we are on the iPod Touch here, and we'll go ahead and unlock that. And actually, I don't see Cydia anywhere on here. So that's a little bit, I'm a little bit curious on that. It's, yeah, it's not on here. Huh. Well, there we go. It just randomly appeared. Um, and now it's respring or something. That's a little bit odd, but we'll see what happens here. All right, let's go inside to unlock. And Cydia is there. It's preparing the file system and it'll exit when complete. Just like uh, every other jailbreak we've seen. There we go, and it's just respawned. We're gonna slide and lock again. And there is Cydia. It asks us who we are, and I'm just gonna choose developer. And now it's loading everything up here. And you can see it doesn't work. All my SHSH blobs are showing up, and everything's loading up. Let's we'll go ahead and go through all the tabs here sections, changes. Manage and search all working perfectly fine. So that is Cydia running on the fourth generation touch on iOS 5.1.1. And I'll show you guys here in a second. There you go, 5.1.1.
So that is it guys, we'll go ahead and head over to the computer to finish up this video. So that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, if you run into any problems or have any questions before doing this jailbreak, go ahead and just comment down below and I'll respond to you um, and help you out with whatever, whatever question you have or problem you ran into. Um, also you guys, also if this helped you out, go ahead and like it down below, I appreciate that. And if you want my future videos, go ahead and subscribe up top and let me know if I release those. Um, I'll of course have more jailbreak tutorials in the future and I'm also hoping to get into some more tweak reviews I previously um, did a lot of those but I've been stopping that uh, recently uh, so hopefully I'll get those started up again I know some of you guys uh, definitely wanted some of those um, but we'll see if you guys would also like to follow me on Twitter my Twitter username is the same as my YouTube username I take every week and that's it for this video I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one